Okay, what we're covering in this video is lasts from a CNC. So what you'll have seen in the previous video is how we've taken a last, we've 3D scanned it, and what we've done is we've got it into the computer, edited it slightly in Mesh Mixer, flattened it out using Cura, and got it to the stage where we can CNC route it out. And this is a routed shoe. Now what I just want to show you now is kind of some of the dimensional accuracies of this model making. So what I want you to notice is that from the actual foot to this last you've got a fairly good degree of accuracy. The problem areas specifically are around the hinge joint, this front portion and the heel cup. And these areas you're actually going to have to use body filler to fill in and build back up. The main problem with this as a process actually is that when these parts are machined they're machined from this vertical angle the cutter can only go down and what it can't do is it can't produce an undercut or a scallop under the part so it's cutting from this way if the heel cup is rounded and goes underneath the cutter can only go vertically down. What this causes when you place your two parts together is some dimensional inaccuracies. You might see them in here and you will likely see them under the arch of the foot there. So you can actually see it coming across. On a last scan, this isn't actually so bad. This isn't terrible, we can get away with that. What we'll do next is take this downstairs, glue it together, put a pin in it and actually start working over it with filler to get a finished quality product. The problem comes from this process with our foot scan. Now, the outside of the foot, where you start at your little toe and you work towards your big toe, is fairly accurate because we're going from small to large. There isn't a shadow cast by your little toe, so you'll see that reasonably well resembles the outside of a foot. However, the side of the foot with the big toe We've got a nice bit of work here on the arch, we've got a nice bit on the heel, but the big toe's shadow, as you can see down here, actually casts a shadow over the first toe. This means when we put our ankle together, we have an exceedingly large shadow gap that you can see all the way around here. You also get that in the undercut here. This foot last, this shoe last, is going to take far more effort to clean up because what we know is we know this external high edge is correct, this internal edge is correct, and what we're going to have to do is scallop out, remove this material to get the arch of the foot, if that's a feature you're looking for. With regard to the toes, we can count them in, one, two, three, and four, we know four is here, so we know we're gonna to have to scallop in to actually get in that toe profile and then start removing all of this material under here. One of the useful things I'm just going to do with this foot before I take it downstairs to glue it together is actually to line it up and to mark the location of the second foot on it. And the reason that I'm doing this is so when I come downstairs to sand them prior to putting it together, it will be easier to remove the material. What I know is I know that this high point here, this line coming back where the cutter steps come back to is the correct line. And I know that it finishes down into there and down into there. So actually, I can start marking up the areas I need to remove, roughly, prior to taking them downstairs and gluing them together. And the same can be done on the top of the foot. You know that you've got to bring this mark in here, and you've got a gap below the toe there. So you're talking about taking a rasp, taking a file, removing this material here, and then again on the sole of the foot, it's around that area and then the toes. The toe line seems to come in around here and there. So you can start marking it up, you can start indicating the areas you want to remove before gluing your foot together, bonding it at the top 
so a lot of this material will be removed prior to putting it together and filler sanding it. The final comment to make on these lasts is regarding cost. So the material these are made from is chemical wood. This last is actually a size 6 last, as you know it was scanned from this model here and it probably costs somewhere between 10 and 15 pounds in material and machine time. That will be simply on how well you can lay it up and how well the board is for it. The foot last is a scan of my foot and that's a UK 10 and this model probably costs somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds in material and that's purely based on the footprint on the bed and the area that it's actually machining out so more material means it's slightly more expensive and if you are making your last that will depend on your foot size thank you for watching this video please keep an eye out for further videos in the series where we start processing these feet within the workshop